where there are queues, there are curious Singaporeans, especially when it comes to good deals and freebies. It's only 10:30 a.m. on a regular Monday morning, but check out this peculiar crowd behind me. Well, today is Free Movie Day. As part of Kelly Organization 75th anniversary, they're giving away 40,000 free movie tickets and free popcorn and drinks island-wide. Each coupon found in the Straits Times can get you a complimentary pair of movie tickets, an 80 gram bag of popcorn, and a 12 ounce cup of soft drink, all absolutely free. One of the oldest film giants here, Cathay turned 75 years old this year, which makes it their diamond anniversary. Since it started in 1935, Cathay has been one of Singapore's key cinema exhibitors in the local entertainment industry. Another local cinema stalwart, Shaw Organization, started 10 years before Cathay. So free movie day can be considered Cathay's birthday treat. Oh, it's a great deal. I mean, it's like they're celebrating their 75th birthday and then like sharing with the, the public and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. I'm very happy about it. I think this is a good initiative to, to I mean, to attract customers and uh, to show some goodwill to the customers who have ever patronised uh, Cathay Cineplex. Yeah. It's nice, but maybe it should be more often. And maybe you should, you should show some of the new movies, like Inceptions or maybe some of the good movies. All five Cathay Cineplex box offices opened as early as 9am with over 200 showtimes to choose from. Movies such as Despicable Me, Toy Story 3, as well as two preview releases namely The Crazies and Nowhere Boy were made available to watch. This year's free movie day is also exceptional as some screenings last till past midnight. This is their second free movie day, their first being five years ago when they celebrated their 70th anniversary, giving away some 21,000 movie tickets. We have tabulated the estimate we're going to be spending in excess of $300,000 in terms of what we would have earned otherwise if it had not been a case of a free movie day. But it's money well, well spent. Even Cathay's chief executive officer, Suhaimi Rafti, put in some elbow grease to give away the tickets. I must say the crowd today has been overwhelming as compared to traditional Mondays, so we're very happy to see many more people coming to redeem their free tickets today. Freebie savvy Singaporeans were already present even before ticketing boxes opened at 9am. I uh, wanted to make sure I get a ticket. <laughs> oh, do you expect like, a big crowd? Yeah, actually I expected so I came early. It's actually on my way. <laughs> I'm going for another appointment now, so I just detour here first. Is this what we call kiasuism? After all, Singaporeans are well known for being kiasu. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's, yeah, not too bad, yeah. I'm Singaporean. <laughs> Alright, go answer. Well, it's typical Singaporean. <laughs> it was quieter in the morning, but the crowd started to pick up at around lunchtime. It's worth the wait because actually the line is not very long. I only read the newspaper around 10 plus. Okay. Yeah. I had to come after that. Yeah. So I just came down for lunchtime. I mean, I'm working, so I just came down for lunchtime. No, I just only stop here because I always come to Starbucks. And some people they mention about that. On free movie day, moviegoers don't have to pay a cent. On weekdays, a standard ticket, on average, would cost $7.50 at both Cathay and Golden Village. Whereas it costs $7 at Shaw. On weekends... A standard ticket would cost $10 once again at both Cathay and Golden Village and $9.50 at Shaw. Are Singaporeans still willing to fork out the cash to catch a movie? Compared to 10 years ago, it's getting higher and higher. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I think that's the case, all right? Everything is higher. It's okay because I get like discounts. I believe having kept movie going affordable was the key success why we saw a growth despite the recession year. And I think Cathay would like to keep it that way to ensure that moviegoers still keep coming back through affordable ticket pricing. If I were to compare ticket prices of what Singapore is, a $10 ticket price, a, being a developed country, as opposed to other developed countries such as the US and Australia, we are about 30% lower. Movie going today has become part and parcel of consumers' period pastime. They all look at movie going as if they have two or three hours to kill meeting friends or in between meetings, they will make time to go out. They, I also realised that movie going is also a three-family nucleus arrangement whereby parents will take their kids as well as grandparents for a suitable animation movie for them to enjoy as a family. So the tradition from the early days still remains intact. Good movie.
movies at good prices. Singaporeans do know a good deal when they see one. No surprise, these free movies went down very well with locals. As of 5 p.m., over 35,000 tickets were given away, and 90% of the available showtimes were fully occupied across all 50 cafe cineplexes.